This morning, a man in Maryland is living his fourth day with a pig heart beating in his chest after a groundbreaking surgery. You good? Surgeons at the University of Maryland transplanted the pig heart into 57-year-old David Bennett in a last-ditch effort to save his life. He's awake. He is recovering and speaking to his caregivers, and um, we hope uh, that uh, the recovery that he is having now will continue. During the nine-hour operation, doctors replaced Bennett's heart with one from a 240-pound pig, which was genetically modified for this purpose. According to his family, Bennett is aware there's no guarantee the experiment will work, but he agreed to the procedure because he's ineligible for a human heart transplant. For him, it provided a level of hope. My dad's only 57 years old, so that was, that was very important to him, and he didn't feel like he was ready to die. It's not the first time this type of procedure has taken place. In September, doctors at New York University transplanted a genetically modified pig kidney into a patient who was brain dead. They say the pig kidney functioned normally in the patient's body for 54 hours. It functioned really well and it didn't reject. And that is a really important um, finding. The new procedures mark a major step in the decades-long quest to use animals as organ donors. It is a game changer because we'll have these organs available and, you know, can, can you know, customize basically the heart for or the organ for the patient. Just incredible. More than 100,000 people in the U.S. are currently waiting for an organ transplant. As for David Bennett, doctors call the next few weeks critical. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.